Israeli police clashed with Muslim worshippers as they stormed Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque overnight. Israeli police say that the raid was sparked by rioters bringing fireworks into the mosque. At least 350 people were arrested. Several were hurt. Overnight prayers take place in all mosques during Ramadan. CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayyab joins us now from our London bureau. Um, MTS, I know that things politically in Israel in general are shifting and changing, but I'm not sure how much that has to do with this latest incident. So bring us up to speed on, on what's happened here specifically. Errol, Lana, good to be with you. Yeah, uh, extraordinary uh, situation unfolding uh, in the Al-Aqsa mosque conflict. You know, I've been covering this story for the better part of a decade. I've been speaking to people who've been covering that story much longer than I have. And never have we seen the kind of violence inside the Al-Aqsa mosque complex than we saw overnight, where you saw Israeli police confronting uh, Palestinians inside the mosque. Uh, you could see Israeli forces beating uh, people inside the mosque with uh, batons and the butt of their rifles, firing sun grenades and rubber-coated steel bullets. You had Palestinians retaliating by throwing stones and setting off fireworks. And then, of course, as the smoke cleared, you could see dozens of Palestinians with their arms zip-tied behind them, lying face down on the floor inside the mosque. Again, unprecedented images uh, seen inside uh, what is the third holiest site of Islam. Now, the reasons leading up to it, well, Israeli police have been relatively vague about it, but what we do understand is that since the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan, so since about the 22nd of March, um, Israeli police have been entering the complex trying to push uh, worshippers from inside the mosque out. Uh, they've been trying to sleep inside the mosque. That's normally something only permitted during the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. People, they say, have been trying to do that from the very beginning. Uh, but what we don't know is why so much was violence used in this real extraordinary scenes that we saw there, again, on the eve of Passover, which is the Jewish holiday. I can say that at the moment, things are, are calm, but of course, extremely tense. Errol, Lana. Imtiaz, uh, as you mentioned, Ramadan, Easter, Passover, uh, three of the major holidays for three of the major religions in the world. Talk to us about the significance of the Alaska Mosque Plaza for, for Muslims and Jews during this holy time. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Lana. I mean, we are at an extraordinary period where you have Ramadan, which is the Islamic holy month of fasting. Uh, you have Easter, which, of course, is so important to Christians. Uh, and then we have Passover as well, which is uh, an important Jewish holiday. All of this converging at the same time. And when that does happen, it can be quite tense. Why is the Al-Aqsa complex so important specifically to Muslims and Jews? Well, Jews uh, know as this area as the Temple Mount. This is a place where they had uh, their first and second temple. And some, I wouldn't say a majority, but some Jewish people want to see a third temple there and want to have more access there. In fact, members of Israel's extreme far-right government uh, have called for more access uh, to the Temple Mount area. In fact, some are also saying that they would like to to uh, be able to carry out ritual sacrifice, the sacrifice of a goat as part of their tradition on there. That, of course, would upset something known as the status quo. What is the status quo? The status quo is an agreement between Muslim countries and Israel that the Al-Aqsa Mosque complex and the, the way that people can worship there will not change and should not change. That is something that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, has said uh, that he will try to ensure to protect, something he's only said in the last few hours. But again, we have have members of extreme right government in his own part or in his own coalition government saying quite the opposite. Whatever the case, for Muslims, the Al-Aqsa Mosque is extremely important. It is the third holiest site in Islam, very important during uh, the month of Ramadan. But for Palestinians, it's also a symbol of Palestinian identity, and that is why it is such a flashpoint for both faiths. Yeah, and why those images are so stunning to see that type of violence in the place of worship. Uh, MTS Taya, thanks for the update. We appreciate it. Pleasure, guys.